Example 1, simplify negative positive 4 minus negative 5 plus 5 minus negative 3 plus negative 6. What I want you to focus on when you're looking at a problem this variety, don't focus on any parentheses, focus on just the numbers, 4, 5, 5, 3, 6. Starting with the first number, look directly in front of it and count the negative signs. My plus signs don't matter, only negative signs matter. All right? How many negatives are there? One. One, so it's negative four. One's odd, negative. Then we look in front of the five here, up to the four. Okay, so in front of the five, there's two minuses, which is even, even right? Which makes a plus five. Then we look in front of the next five. There's only one sign in front of it, it's a plus, zero negative, zero is even, so it's plus, or you can just see it's plus, so it's plus. All right, next one, let's go orange. In front of the three, we've got two minus, which is plus, plus three. And then the final one, haven't done blue yet, we've got the negative, the plus negative six, how many minuses? One. One, so minus. All right. Get the parentheses out of the problem as soon as possible. So you're looking at just pluses and minuses. Then, negatives add to make a negative number. Positives add to get a positive number. Opposite signs subtract. 13 is bigger, so it's positive. I just did 13 minus 10. That is fine also. You can do the positive sum first, the negative sum second. It it's, doesn't matter which one you do. Just so long as you have opposite signs here every time, because you get one positive and one negative, right? You always get opposite signs here, so you always subtract the very last step. The answer is always the same sign as the bigger number. 